I'm going to show you how some you can develop your vocals in some different ways. This is going to require some more experimenting from you. So everything I do, you can't just copy immediately. In my example here, I've got a verse melody and a chorus melody that I'm really happy with. But you shouldn't do this until you've got everything absolutely filled up. So I can duplicate my chorus melody here. And I can duplicate it over here by pressing Option and drag. Um, but if this was actually you completing this, you shouldn't do this until your verse two melody is done. There are a few things that we can do. First of all, we know that this is a single track, so I need to duplicate it because I'm not gonna put things on there. So I'm gonna click on the track head here and press Command D. That will give me the same thing. And I'm gonna rename this vocal line Harmony because I'm gonna be harmonizing along with this. The point of this is to show development. You don't need to show all these skills immediately. You just need to show them throughout the piece. So the first time you have the chorus, leave it as it is. You don't need it to change because you're showing your baseline for melody writing. In this case, my chorus sounds like this. So that's my chorus, nice and simple, that's what it should be. Now when it comes back, I want to show I can do some extra things. So there are a few things that you can do, some are more simple than others. The first, which is very simple, is to double in octaves. To do that, click on your melody track, hold down option on the keyboard, click and drag. Let go of the mouse first, then option. I've just duplicated it here. Now I want to make it an octaves. An octave is eight notes. So for example, going from G2 to G3 or going from G3 to G4. Some, most of the time going lower is better. So here I can see that starting pitch is G3. So I want this line to all be on G2. To do that, press into the piano roll, press Command A and grab the first note and drag it down until it's in the correct place. Make sure that it's aligned horizontally correctly so I can see that the bottom one that I'm holding on to starts in the same place as that invisible ghosty top one. Only once it's in the correct place do you let go. So I've now let go. Now when I listen, I'm gonna turn both of these tracks up so it's easier for you to hear. They're going to be in octave. So it just creates a subtle but developed effect. Let's listen. Helps to put your loop on the right place. So just adds a little bit of depth. This is a subtle one. Let's do a more exciting one. I'm gonna do this on my final chorus because I want it to be really exciting. So I'm gonna click, command click to drag down. This time I'm gonna harmonize in thirds. Now you can't just click drag and say that you're done. It does not work perfectly. So to do this, I'm first going to highlight all and I am going to drag these by thirds. So I think I want to drag to B3 so that I go up a third. So G, I count up G, A is two, B is three. Now, the first thing you need to do is go through and check that no notes have sharps or flats. So this is a, a B, I can see it's the same throughout. Here, that's an E, so that should be probably fine. I'm gonna keep going through. I know that this is the same, so that's fine. That one's an F sharp, so I'm gonna make it into an F natural. That's an E. Then here, you have B, that's fine. That one needs to be moved down to an F natural. Looking here, I've got a B. That's a G sharp, that should be moved down to a G. F sharp down to F, and an E here. So we're gonna listen to the initial pass and see what sounds good, what doesn't, and then we'll fix it from there. Okay, so I love how the ending sounds. I'm really happy with that, but I don't like that they both leap the same amount every time. So to make this sound a little bit better, what I'm gonna do is this note, it's on that third beat of the first bar, I'm just gonna go into my chord and see what the notes of my chord are. 
So the notes in my chord are A, C, and E. So I'm gonna change this to either A or C, because it's already on E. So I'm gonna try a C and see if I like that, because it's a note in my chord. And let's listen and hear the difference. Maybe this one, I'm going to put down to an A, just for a little bit of difference. Let's listen to that part. Don't like this here. So this is too high for me, so I'm going to see it's bar 67, so I'm going to go in here, look at what the notes are in bar 67. So I have an E, a G and a B. So I'm going to go back into my harmony in bar 67. This is an E, so I can do a G or a B. I'm going to try a B and see how that sounds. I didn't like that, so I could have E, G, or B. So let's try this down to a G. that's okay if you don't like it immediately it's okay because you can go you can go along and change it just like I have so my final nice harmonized chorus sounds like that and it shows me that actually when I'm looking at for the examiner they can see that first of all I've got my bass melody then I've doubled in octaves then I've put it into thirds and some nice harmony so give that a try with your own melodies and you're really starting to then come along with your piece